Hello! In this short video, I want to look at the new feature that's been added into the uh, latest release of uh, Chocolate GUI, which is 1.1.0. Uh, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, jump in and we'll take a look at that. Now, in a previous version of Chocolate GUI, what we did is we added a modal dialogue that basically prompted uh, whenever there was what we regarded as a uh, fundamental, potentially breaking change that was carried out by a user or uh, an operation that might take a long time to, to proceed. So for example, if I were to go and right click and uninstall that package, that's seen as a, a change to the uh, host operating system that that, uh, or a change to the, what's installed on that host operating system. So we wanted to provide a, basically a, a catch all that says, are you sure that you want to proceed with that operation? just in case it wasn't intended. Uh, so the option there is obviously to go ahead and click no. Uh, for some of the other ones, so for example, if we were to go up here and we were to look at the upgrade all um, button, uh, then potentially that is going to take a long time to proceed. So again, we wanted to provide uh, a catch all that says, are you sure you want to proceed with this operation? Uh, so based on some feedback that we got some folks in the community, uh, what we've done is we've added in a setting that's very similar to the uh, allow global confirmation setting that you can do on Chocolate uh, within the CLI. So for that, if we go into the settings screen here and we uh, go in here and we search for skip, and we'll have an option here, which is a uh, skip uh, modal dialogue confirmation. So if I turn that on uh, and then go back and then I go ahead and do that uninstall operation that I showed before, now that will proceed straight away. So it's not gonna prompt anymore for the uh, uh, yes or no prompt. Uh, it's going to assume that you understand what you're doing and you're going into it knowing. Uh, so that setting will persist across Chocolate GUI uh, instances. So I've closed Chocolate GUI down. I'm going to open it up again and that setting will be remembered. Uh, so if we go back into settings, uh, I'll show you that here. So back into settings and then uh, back into the search for skip, it's on. Uh, and obviously at the command line, so with chocolate CLI, uh, we'll have the ability to, at that, this level as well, to uh, set it and uh, unset it if you need to. You can see it there. Uh, the skip modal dialogue confirmation is, is on uh, there. If you needed to do it from the command line or to, for do it, to set that setting for all of the um, folks that are on the machine, then you can set it globally via the chocolate CLI. And the other thing is, the point of mention there is that that setting is uh, disabled by default. So that's the way it was in the previous version of Chocolate GUI, where we didn't have that setting. We've kept, we've respected that setting, and it's something you have to opt into uh, to prevent that dialogue from showing in the first place. Uh, so there was a couple of other things that were we intended on shipping in this release of Chocolate GUI, uh, but bottom line is we ran into a couple of um, situ. Uh, we ran into a situation where uh, it wasn't going to work the way we wanted it to, uh, and we actually going to need to go back to uh, chocolate, chocolate CLI uh, to make some changes there in order for the changes that we want to happen in Chocolate to go through. Uh, so watch this space. Uh, we had, like I say, we had hoped to release a couple of other features in this release, uh, but we weren't able to. Uh, so apologies for that. But this was a direct request. This one here was a direct request from. Uh, community members asking for the ability to have a global confirmation uh, bypass similar to what there is at the CLI uh, and now there is in Chocolate GUI. So hopefully this is going to be useful. Uh, if you've got any questions or feedback, uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much.